Okay, let's take a look if you're writing a program in uh, C, uh, how you can use Chromebook. Uh, this website is tutorialspoint.com and um, that is strange. Well, just because I got to zoom in. We do a control, this is my mask wheel, put it back uh, 100%. There we go. Um, you want to go to the coding ground. So I'll click that, click that. Then you want to scroll down. And you see we got a um, C somewhere. There it is. Uh, so right here is your C. So we'll click that. Not the fastest coming up, but I, I, I bought this as a uh, this Chromebook used um, I just wanted to have something so I could support my, my students. Okay, so it comes up, and um, here I got my, um, got my code. And let's say I, I write something. int num1 num2 sum. I'm not sure where that came from. Helps if I don't keep up my <laughs> my hand on the little pad. There we go. That's better. Print f uh, input first number. Can't spell. And then I'll do a scan f percent d. And then num one. Printf input second number and another scan f percent d and number sign or the ampersand num num two then sum is going to equal to num one plus num two now I want to print out the results so do printf um, the sum is percent d slash n, and then I'll print sum like that. You know, hold down my uh, shift key and do a down arrow, and then press my backspace. I guess I don't see a delete. I'm not a I'm not a genius at um. I'm not a genius at Chromebooks. <laughs> I can fumble around in them. That's about the extent of it. Okay, so let me click execute here. It won't do anything. Except I didn't expect a s error. Scan F. There we go. It still won't do anything. Um, because remember, uh, with this, you need to go to standard in since I'm bringing in two numbers, scan F and uh, or scan F for num1 and scan F for num2. I need to come here and put my values in. So three and four. Okay, so now that I got those in there, if I go back to my, you don't have to go back to your main code, but now if I do an execute, you see it's going to add the two numbers together. It tells me the sum is 7. And, um, hmm. Oh, with this, I probably should have a slash in. Slash in is a new line, just so it looks better. You don't have that problem on Windows, but um, since you can't do an inner right here, uh, it's a little bit different than code blocks. There we go. Okay, so that's our result. Um, now I'm going to show you how to upload upload the results, and um, so um, let's see. Here I got uh, Google Docs. Um, but first, I'm going to do a screenshot. So I'm going to hold down my Shift key 
my control, and then the um, it's a it's a button that looks like it has three rectangles in it. Um, but I'm gonna hold that down, Shift, Control, and then those three little um, rectangle buttons. It grays out my screen, and now if I click, and yeah, see my mouse moving around. Uh, maybe you can't since I'm sharing this via Zoom. But I'm clicking right above and to the left of the execute and clicking my left mouse button, holding down, and I'm dragging, and you'll see a draw rectangle. When I let up, it copies that. You see a screenshot taken here, and then I can say copy the clipboard. And now, if I go to my Google Docs here, And I click uh, blank. And now I'm going to choose, since this comes up, edit, paste. Did I choose it? It's just slow. Got it. Let me try it one more time, just in case it didn't take. There we go. You got your got your code there. Now, in addition to that, uh, if I go back, um, here, I'm gonna highlight my code. What I did is I clicked my left mouse button, dragged up there, and now I'm going to go control or a, a copy. Oh, I guess control C does work in um, Chromebooks. Okay. Go back to my Google Docs. Sit there and wonder where in the world my um, document went to. I guess it's right here. Okay. Um, now I'm doing edit paste without formatting. Okay, now this is what we're going to turn in. So I'll give it some kind of name. Yeah, I think you have to click up here, and this will be um, uh, hmm, see project. Hello world. Enter. Now I'm going to download this file. Now this is probably a clever way to do this. I'm going to do a file and choose download and choose what am I going to choose? Um, I guess uh, Microsoft Word. Now, this is a copy it down here, and you see it says show in folder. And um, see, we got our project hello world dot doc there. If you, if you don't see that, um, pop-up for the folders. If you click the launcher here, uh, you should be able to go to files and see the same thing. Now let me close it just so you can see it working. Now I don't know if all Chromebooks are different, so I hope this matches your your Chromebook. <laughs> but then I go to downloads, double click that, and there's my project. Okay, so let's, let's go to um, Blackboard now. I'm ready to submit my assignment. So I go to whatever whatever assignment I'm working on. And what's this? I don't normally do this. Okay. Uh, browse local files. And click downloads. Suppose you can store it somewhere else. And here's my project hello world.doc and I click open. See that there? What's this say? When finished, make sure to click submit. I guess that's all I'd want to do. In addition to that, in the comments here, um, I, I clicked here and I'm going to do a Control V. That'll paste my code. Um, so one of those, I bound, I'm bound to be able to edit, copy that, and edit, paste it if I need to take it into um, code blocks and see um, see what's going on with it. I try to get feedback on what you've done wrong, but it's hard if it's all in a image format, so that's why I'm 
uh, asking you to put it in two different places like that, and then click Submit. And that's how you can use um, for previous time it's not saved. Yeah, I'm a I'm an instructor, <laughs> so. Um, but uh, that's how you can use um, uh, Tutorials Point to uh, program uh, your C uh, assignments in this class. Now, there's a lot of other um, resources out there besides Tutorials Point. So, if we get to the point where Tutorials Point doesn't seem to cut, so it doesn't seem to cut it, um, I'll do some more digging around, find find another one. Um, there's there's actually the GCC compiler that I'm gonna have everybody use at some point, but that's this one has a little bit more bells and whistles than a uh, console uh, Linux um, application. 